What up guys? Paradox back with more tech support. We're here today on part three of the Hydro Booster Swap for a V6 or if you need to replace it in your V8. Um, but with the V6, they're real nice to get a good brake power. Um, it depends as well as plenty of engine fitment. So that's the only reason why I'm really doing this is to get turbo fitment for my downpipe so I can get it down to the downpipe um, successfully. But with that, I'm gonna have wide open room straight to the downpipe shot. So um, with this hydro booster swap, now that we're on part three of the video, you've seen how to remove the seat, how to remove the steering column, how to remove the clutch pedals, the brake pedal, uh, to release your brake booster. So when you get out to this side of the car now, when you have those released, uh, if you haven't seen it, check it out in my videos I have all the way leading up to this. Um, you're gonna be able to move the back of your vacuum brake booster, which is a big bulb, uh, and you're just gonna kind of shake it left and right until it comes out. So, and when uh, you have no brake pedal there, that's how it's actually released because your hydro booster, your brake booster is only held on by being sandwiched on the firewall. So with the hydro booster, it actually has the three plugs through uh, with one bolt where on your brake booster, vacuum brake booster, it's gonna have four. So it's gonna be all four from the inside. Here you just got one bolt from the outside um, that's left at the end. So now that you're free, what happens is, is that you are held on by what's called a brake proportioning valve. And uh, what this does is it submits the pressure to the valves evenly uh, in, within the brake lines to give even brake pressure to all of the brake lines and uh, really just give you a good even brake feel um, instead of just trying to punch it out to two tires or directly to four. So um, it's a good manifold. And uh, well, anyways, with the 99 to 2000s with no ABS, they do have the uh, driver's side brake line coming out of that top fitting. Um, where on the no ABS ones, uh, with the ABS 2001 to 2004, these two lines are going to be coming over to your actual ABS system to then be re split the same way it would be. Uh, on the 99 to 2000s. So I would know this because this Hydro Booster was originally installed on my um, 1999 V6. Um, I just ended up switching the whole project to this car. So uh, it's been a fun ride. Uh, the big thing was, is so when you get over here and you go to remove this, this is gonna be two size 13 millimeter um, hand wrenches. Uh, you're gonna want the small one to get in here because it's a real tight fit trying to get these um, if you don't actually have the tubing wrenches because tubing wrenches are expensive uh, but a 13 millimeter tubing wrench is a nice thing to have so um when you're removing this it's just going to be the um one and two to remove the booster or if you want the brake proportioning valve to whatever you're going to so say you're going to a no abs car uh you're going to have a different fitting you're going to actually have to put this is a no ABS, see there's no, no ABS there. Um, but in the top, you're gonna have this line that goes to your driver's side uh, brake. So when it comes in, it goes into a fitting, this fitting right here, that will go into the block. So when it comes down to it, you're going to need the plug from your um, ABS 2001 plus Mustang to go into your swap. Uh, if you've got a, uh, ABS running, it's just going to be two lines. If you have no ABS, it's going to be three. You're going to have this fitting on top instead of that cap. And then your brake line fitting uh, for the bubble fitting is actually a different fitting. So I had quite a bit of problems with the 99. And what I ended up doing was getting adapters. So of course, these things were actually quite spendy. They were, I, I believe, $15 a piece. Uh, but this is for the 1999 to 2000 Mustang with no ABS, brake proportioning valve, thread adapters to put um, the uh, proportioning valve on, plug and play. Um, and what they are is a male thread M12 by one bubble to a female thread M10 by one bubble. Um, and that would be a bubble fitting for the line. So you're able to just screw these on. You don't actually have to cut or remove the brake line. It's just adapter fitting. Um, so what a bubble is, uh, you know what a thread pitch is, but what a bubble is, is for the lines, there's two different ways, there's several ways, you know, mainly that um, brake lines and other lines are fit, where they put the cut off uh, line with a fitting through it, and then they make a bubble compression on the tip is so. So that's what a bubble um, line is, when they're making that actual compression fitting. Um, so... <clears throat> Thank you. 
now that you're at the part of getting past the master cylinder so you've taken the master cylinder off you've taken the proportioning valve and you've released these two if you're bringing the proportioning valve with these are also going to be 13 millimeters but the brake proportioning valve is held on through this bolt hole to the inside of your fender by a 13 millimeter bolt so the usual solution to releasing the proportioning valve is going to be of course the two foot 13 to get outside of the you know the wheel with your wheel on it's possible to get through there with a uh, you know the universal joint fitting um, but you know I just took my brake off so I can show you on the video so uh, now that you know how to identify and place your brake proportioning valves, which ones you're going to need for how you're going to do your swap, um, when you place the hydro booster in, um, the fittings that you're going to have are usually going to be either from the GT. This is the actual hydro booster portion um, that's not the brake master cylinder valves so um, this is the hydro booster and what it does is it takes um, this is a low pressure side these are two high pressure sides uh, you got a high pressure side coming from what will be my power steering pump your guys is with the Mustang is down here but with your power steering pump high pressure line that usually goes to the rack you're gonna have it go from high pressure side up to your hydro booster and then you're gonna have the low pressure side come back and go back down so it basically just adds another um, accessory function inside of the inline direct current of your high pressure power steering line so that's what a hydro booster is is its ability to make the uh, brake power off of the high pressures of the power steering pump because the hyper uh, as people know that power steering pumps make the most pressure out of anything really uh, of your accessory drive so with that you're gonna have your proportioning valve in you're gonna have your master cylinder and everything ready to bolt on and then with this this is the actual just placement and setting video where I've showed you how to fit it showed you how to put it on pull it all off inside the engine bay and stick it back on and then after this now all I'm gonna have to do is place the fittings on possibly with the correct adapters bleed your brakes and then um, that's how that part is gonna work, but you're not gonna have really good brake pressure till I go over part four, the actual hydro booster swap, because I gotta do custom lines. Um, so with that, we're gonna be going down to up in that for fun. So we'll see. Um, Stay tuned for part four of the Hydro Booster Swap. I'm glad I could help you guys actually get the cylinder on the car. Have a great time. Stay tuned for more tech support.